Okay, so in this video we're going to be having a look at pressure, force and area. Now we're only going to do a couple of questions in this video, so we're going to have a go at this one on screen and one other question. So if you want to pause the video and have a go at this question, then feel free to do so. But otherwise, I'm just going to show you how you can go about using this video and where you can find more topics for your revision right from within the video. So when you're on one of these videos, if you click into the description, you'll see that I've got everything listed within there. I've got hard questions to try, I've got checklists and practice papers that you can download, and other questions and other videos within this series. Now if you scroll down to the bottom of the description, you'll see down there it says topics featured in this video. So in there I'll put all the links with difficult questions and topic videos related to this topic right there for you to access. So just click onto one of those and it'll take you on to more practice questions and different versions of this topic. So, with that being said, let's get started. Okay, so looking at our first question. Now when it comes to pressure, force and area, you will be given the formula. So we've got been told here that pressure is equal to force over area. It says to find the pressure exerted by a force of 810 newtons on an area of 120 centimetres squared. But it says to give your answer in newtons per metre squared. So we're going to have to do some unit conversions in this question. So to start with, if we're going to give our answer in metres squared, then we're going to want to convert this unit here, 120 centimetres squared, into metres squared. So to do that, we just need to think about the normal conversion from centimetres to metres. So if it was just 120 centimetres that we wanted to convert into metres, then normally we would divide that by 100. Now when it comes to area units, where we have centimetre squared going into metre squared, we pretty much do the same thing, but instead of dividing by 100, we divide by 100 squared. So obviously we're practising this on a calculator, so you can type that straight into a calculator. So 120 divided by 100 squared gives us 0.012. So there we go, we now have our area in metres squared. So that was the key part for this question because obviously it wants our answer in metres squared. So you do have to look very carefully to see what the units are to see if you need to do a unit conversion. From here it's not too difficult because it wants us to find the pressure. And we already know from our formula at the top that pressure is equal to force divided by area. Well, we have our force, our force is 810, so 810 on the top, and our area, which we now have in metres squared, is 0.012. So we just need to type that into our calculator, 810 divided by 0.012, and it gives us our answer, and that comes out as 67,500. And the units for that, it's already told us in the question, is newtons per metre squared, so we would just write newtons per metre squared, obviously checking on the dotted line because it might already give you those units, in which case we'd just write down the 6,500. So there we go, that's how we approach a question where we have some unit conversions. Now let's have a look at that question that we saw right at the start. Okay, so we have a slightly different question here. It says the diagram shows a solid cube. The cube is placed on a table so that the whole of one of the faces of the cube is in contact with the table. And we'll assume that that would be this bottom face just here, but as it's a cube, that's the same as every other face. It says the cube exerts a force of 96 newtons on the table, work out the volume of the cube. The pressure on the table due to the cube is 0.14 newtons per centimetre squared. And again, it gives us our formula, pressure is equal to force over area, work out the volume of the cube. So for this particular question then, we're just going to think about our formula. So our formula is pressure is equal to force over area, but we want to work out something that's going to help us work out the volume. And if we can get the area of that bottom face, which obviously we don't have any of the measurements of the cube, so if we can get the area by getting those 
uh, measurements of the length of the cube, then we'd definitely be able to get the volume, because for the volume of a cube, all we have to do is multiply those three lengths together. So let's think about our formula. Now you could write out the formula and rearrange it for area, or if you prefer, you can put it into a formula triangle. So whichever method you prefer, absolutely fine, but I'll write this as a formula triangle for those that also like to use one of these. So pressure is equal to force over area. If I want to work out the area, we're going to cover up the area, and that's going to be force divided by pressure. So I need to do the force, which I've got, divided by the pressure, which I've got, and that's going to tell me the area of the face. So the force, which we've been told just over here, is 56 newtons, and the pressure, which we've been given here, is 0 0.14. So looking at that, let's type it in, 56 divided by 0 0.14, and if we type that in, we get an area of 400. So the area of every single one of those faces on the cube is 400, and that's in centimetres, so that would be centimetres squared. Now, for the purpose of this question, we've already said we need to get the side length of each um, length of the square, the square face. So if a square has an area of 400, then we need to think what would the two numbers be, they've called them W in this question, what would those two numbers be that multiply to make 400? Now because it's a cube, that means those two numbers are going to be the same. So what we could do, we could just do the square root of 400 on our calculator, and that comes out as 20 centimetres. And that would make sense because 20 times 20 is 400, and that is now the side length of the square. So how are we now going to get the volume? Well, if all the side lengths are 20, because it's a cube, then to work out the volume of a cube, all we would need to do is 20 multiplied by another 20, and then multiplied by that final 20. Type that into our calculator. You could probably do that without a calculator, and the answer comes out as 8,000. So the units for that as its volume would be 8,000 centimetres cubed, and that would be our final answer for the volume of the cube. So there we go, we didn't have any unit conversions in that question, but it was just a slightly different question there, thinking about obviously the diagram, what we were given, we were given a picture of a cube, and using that to help us find the side lengths so that we could then get the volume. So there we go, there is a couple of questions on pressure, force, and area. I hope you found that useful and helpful. If you did, don't forget to like, don't forget to comment, don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you for the next one.